Hi everybody, my name is Brian Schaefer. I'm the fire chief for the city of Spokane and uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to spend some time with our kids that are at home spending many, many, many days at home and uh, oftentimes inside the house. We're going to read a book this evening and the book is entitled Poinsettia and the Firefighters by Felicia Bond and it's one of my all-time favorites. I hope it is yours as well. So let's start off here. Everybody has to be comfortable and paying close attention to the screen and uh, not talking. That's just totally not allowed. So one Saturday morning, Poinsettia's father said, Poinsettia, how would you like to have your own room? I fixed up the two rooms on the top floor, one just for you and one just for Petunia. Poinsettia could hardly believe her ears. That afternoon, Julius and Pierre moved into their old room. I bet you'll be scared to sleep by yourself, Pierre snorted. I bet I won't, Poinsettia said. You can have my favorite nightlight, offered Chickpea. No, Poinsettia grunted. Only babies sleep with nightlights. Poinsettia loved her new room. She admired it all evening and into the night. Finally, her father had to call up upstairs and say, Turn out your light, Poinsettia, he said. It's way past your bedtime. I can't even see the hoof in front of my face, Poinsettia thought. Boy, it's really dark in there. She opened up the curtains, but there was no moonlight or starlight. One by one, the neighbor's lights all went out. Poinsettia's mother and father turned off their lights, too. The light was very dark. Suddenly, something went clank. Petunia, Poinsettia shouted. That was only your radiator, mumbled Petunia. I didn't see a radiator, Poinsettia said. Are you sure I have one? Clank, went the sound. Let's invent a secret code, Poinsettia said. If you hear a scary noise, I'll say peep to make sure you're awake. Then you tell me what the noise is, okay? Okay, said Petunia. Poinsettia went right back to bed. Something creaked very slowly. Peep, said Poinsettia. The stairs, said Petunia. Something scratched very roughly. Peep, said Poinsettia. <sighs> a branch, said Petunia. Something thumped very loudly. Peep, said Poinsettia. Peep, peep, peep. Petunia was asleep. Oh no, Poinsettia whispered. I'm the only one awake. She thought about the thump and the dark places where it might be. The thump came again, and it seemed closer and louder than before. Poinsettia closed her eyes. Please let it be morning, she wished. When she opened her eyes, there was a light outside. It was pink and gold. The sun, Poinsettia said. The light got bigger and brighter, but it was not sunrise. It was a fire on the telephone wire in front of Poinsettia's house. Mom, Poinsettia shouted. Mom, Dad! Poinsettia mother called the fire department and the entire family watched the firefighters put out the flames. Afterward, three of the firefighters came to the house and filled out their report. You have a keen eye, one of them said to Poinsettia. Did the alarm wake you up, Poinsettia asked. Oh no, said the firefighter. I'm the night watchman. I stay awake all night. I'm a night watcher too, Poinsettia said. The firefighters waved goodbye. Poinsettia went back to her room and looked out the window. The night was still dark. Then Poinsettia saw it was not quite as dark as before. Shining through the trees was a light from the fire station six blocks away. I'm not the only one awake, Poinsettia said. Look at that fire station way off in the corner. There were more noises at night, but they didn't bother Poinsettia. Squeak, drip, clatter. And when the sun finally rose... Poinsettia was not awake to see it. Poinsettia was sleeping. Thank you for allowing us into your homes and allowing us to serve you. Um, I just wanted to leave with a few reminders. This is a great opportunity having the kids home to practice fire safety. Make sure you have an escape plan in your home. No two ways out. Especially make sure that you close your doors at night. Close Before You Doze is a recent campaign that we know saves lives. And lastly, I'll just end up check your smoke alarm and make sure that um, the batteries have been changed within the last six months. Stay home, stay safe, and thank you from the Spokane Fire Department.